Okay, so in uh, the first part of email marketing basics uh, tutorial, I covered a, a lot of a lot of uh, concepts and components of email marketing, mostly on how to get your subscribers, uh, how to build an email list, and what kind of email marketing software to use. And now in part two, we're going to talk about what happens after you have subscribers in your Aweber list. How do you contact them, and what are the other uh, uh, concepts or terms involved in email marketing. So, in email marketing, there are two types of campaigns or two ways for you to reach your, your prospects or your customers or your subscribers. Number one is using autoresponder or also known as autoresponse follow-up messages. And number two is using broadcast. So, autoresponders are preset uh, sequential emails, which means that you compose the email and you can arrange it in the order that you want and you can set an interval between each email to be X amount of days and once it's done every subscriber will go through this uh, sequence of emails so if you have 10 emails from the day they subscribe they will go through email 1, 2, 3 up to email 10 automatically broadcast is a one-off email that you send to all your subscribers Okay, so uh, an autoresponder, each subscriber may be receiving a different email based on when they have subscribed and where in your autoresponder sequence they are. Whereas with broadcast, you send the same email to your entire uh, email marketing list. So when you send an email, there are a few things involved here. The first is it, whether your email actually gets delivered or not. So a lot of email nowadays can go to the spam folder and uh, also, a lot of uh, sometimes your email just cannot get delivered to the person. Maybe it's the wrong email address, or they no longer use the email address if it's a corporate email and they no longer work in that place. Um, or the email inbox is full. But one of the most, uh, the biggest reason is of course that uh, spam. That email gets flagged as spam and never gets delivered to the inbox. So whenever you send a broadcast or autoresponder follow up to your subscribers. It depends on the deliverability rate, which means how many percentage of subscribers actually get your email. Now, from those people who get your email, you also have to look at how many people actually open your email. And this is, uh, the term used for this is open rate. So not every subscriber that you send an email to is going to open your email. Even if you check your email inbox, there's probably some emails from six months ago, a year ago, or in my case, like since four years ago that I've never really opened. So why, why is it that people don't open their email? It depends on a lot of factors, but it's not really important as long as you know that there is an open rate here that determines the effectiveness of email marketing. And from those who actually open your email, how many people actually clicked on the link in your email. So when you want to see whether email marketing is effective, you have to understand that there are a few stages here. Um, and a mistake a lot of people do when they first get started with email marketing is that they try email marketing and uh, for whatever reason they don't get the impact or the response that they're expecting or the amount of sales and then they say now email marketing is just a waste of time. But I'll show you an example here why email marketing, if you understand it properly, is not a waste of time. So let's say in your Aweber account, you have 10,000 subscribers. Now that looks like a lot of people. So now when you start a new product or a new uh, campaign or you want to promote and advertise a product as an affiliate, you say, wow, I have 10,000 subscribers, you know, so now I can make money very easily uh, from my product launch. So when we factor in all these components or all these stages, so let's say that we have a 90% deliverability rate, which means only 90% of the uh, 10,000 subscribers actually get an email from you. From you, the rest are maybe outdated email addresses, uh, inbox full, goes to spam folder, etc. So when you use like a software like Aweber or other good software, then the deliverability rate will become higher because their servers are whitelisted, uh, which means that there's a less chance of it going to spam folder. If you're using an email marketing software on your own server, on just a normal shared hosting or dedicated hosting server, uh, 
and that would mean that the deliverability rate will be even lower than 90%. It could be 50%, 60%, whatever it is. So if you are using a cheap email marketing software on your own server and the deliverability rate is only 50%, it means only 50% of people will ever get your email. The rest will just go to spam. Now from that, people who actually got your email, 9,000 people, only 20% will probably open your email. And 20% open rate is actually a good open rate. Uh, it's, it's not bad. If you're getting 20% open rate, it's actually good news for you. So why, why is it that the other 80% don't open your email at all? The, the answer has never been found. And I think the answer can be different for different industry or different email address subscribers or, or what you're doing with those um, subscribers. Okay. So... Out of 9,000 people who actually got your email address, only 1,800 opened the email. The rest, probably they previewed it or looked at it but didn't open it or probably they didn't even notice that the email is there and they just didn't open. This is normal. So now you have only 1,800 people who actually have received your message. And out of that, let's say you get a 5% click-through rate, again, which is quite a good click-through rate. So it means that only 90 people out of the 10,000 people actually end up on the website that you're trying to promote, whether it's your own product or whether it's an affiliate product. So if out of the 90,000 people you make one sale or two sales, then that's good. But it will be unrealistic to expect that because I have 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to make thousands of sales because of all these stages of email marketing. So how can you improve this? To improve your deliverability rate, you have to get proper email marketing software like Aweber or other good software um, that has proper high-powered servers and a whitelisted IP address to make sure that it gets sent out as much as possible. Now, how to increase your open rate? The best way to increase your open rate, open rate is all about the title of your email. If the title is boring or not relevant to the person that you're sending to, then they probably won't open the email at all. So the better title that you can do for your email, uh, for your, every email that you send out, the higher your open rate will be. But just by opening the email doesn't mean that they are going to uh, do anything. They open the email because they're curious to un understand what's inside, what is the message of the email. Then comes to how do you actually get people to take action on and click on the link in your email to get them to go to where you want to go. So the click-through rate can be increased, uh, the effectiveness of the click-through rate can be increased dramatically by having a proper uh, copywriting or your message must be attractive enough. Just because you get them to open the email doesn't mean that they are going to click on it. You have, there must be some kind of continuity. So when you ha have them open the email, then the content of your email must also be interesting uh, enough to lead them to actually want to know more by clicking on the link. So those are the few components of uh, email marketing. And as long as you understand this, then you'll know that email marketing uh, works. After all, even though you have 10,000 subscribers and you only get 90 people who actually click, those 90 clicks are, you know, in a way, uh, no cost. If you're going to pay Google AdWords 50 cents per click, then they would have cost you money. Or if you're going to get um, Facebook ads for 90 clicks, that will also cost you money. And this 90 clicks are actually better than Google AdWords click and also Facebook ads click because these are your subscribers. Even though they don't click, they heard from you. You know, they're seeing your name in their inbox so they are more comfortable with you. And if they do not open this email, then maybe the next email or, you know, maybe a few emails after that, they will eventually open and actually want to click. So it's a high quality subscriber. It's called a warm market and much, much more profitable kind of uh, traffic. So this is an example uh, from our Aweber account. So you can see a follow-up series. This is an autoresponder message. And you can see that the open rate, you know, is 50%. And it, it can be different for a different email. So it depends on the title of the email. That, that determines the open rate. So if I put something like coupon inside, uh, replay link and stuff like that then the, the uh, open rate may be higher but again it depends on a lot of factors so I can always go back to my Aweber and change to a different uh, email title and see if that gets a higher open rate. 
Now this is from broadcast. So from broadcast, you can see, um, for example, create WP membership sites like a pro. We sent it out to 25,000 subscribers and 1,600 1, subscribers actually open the email. So that is less than 10%. And out of that, only 297 clicked. And 60 people never received the email at all because it bounced, which means wrong email address or email no longer exists or inbox full. And six people actually complained, which means that mark the email as spam. Right? <laughs> yeah, so that's quite normal. Although these subscribers are all, they actually entered their name and email address on our website, but you know, and every email has a link for them to unsubscribe at the bottom, but they may not know that, so they just mark and spam. So this is the normal uh, way of email marketing, right? So whenever you write an email marketing you, a campaign, you really have to think a lot about the title and the content of the email. If your title is boring, then the effectiveness will be less, not many people open, and even though the content of the email will be interesting, but if not many people open, then nobody's going to read the content. So title must be really interesting. That is one of the uh, important things, the subject of your email. And then also the content of your email to get them to not explain everything in the email. So don't explain A to Z everything in your email, but just make them curious to want to click on the link to find out more. So this is the software that you use Aweber and you can go to getstarted.aweber.com to get your $1 trial. <laughs> yeah, $1 trial uh, for the first 30 days. And thank you from me, Gobayakrishnan at cradle.com.